Well, we change directions now to share a story about cancer. It's an ugly disease that has touched just about everyone. While there are many stories of battling and winning the fight on cancer, tonight Monica Robbins is sharing the story of a former Akron radio host who is making the difficult decision to stop fighting. M Matt's a legend in Northeast Ohio. Matt Patrick's booming voice carried across Akron's airwaves for 31 years on WKDD before he took his talents to Houston in 2009. For the last two years, the radio host battled esophageal cancer. Wednesday, he announced he exhausted his treatment options. There will be no more fighting. There will be no more going back to the hospital. It'll be up to God. It's a difficult decision rarely made alone. The patient and family often have guidance from counselors and specialists in end-of-life care. There are many more options than just fighting it with more medication. One has to think about, again, spiritual health, mental health, palliation of symptoms, a meaningful and dignified way to exit Earth. Matt made his announcement with his wife by his side. Former co-workers respect his decision. Matt has gone through so many challenges in his life, and he's always come out on the other side. And even after we heard this news yesterday, you still think to yourself, he's going to find a way. If somebody can, it'll be Matt. If this works, that's great. But if it doesn't work, and at some point it won't, and I'll just say thank you for everything. Keith said he's heard from a number of listeners who want to send their well wishes to Matt and his family. And we put a link on our story at WKYC.com if you wish to do so yourself. Matt endured aggressive cancer treatment and fought long and hard. And Dr. Lee hopes his story educates people about how important the discussion is to have and the guidance available to help people make those decisions. We're lucky here in Northeast Ohio to have some great resources. And of course, we are sending our positive thoughts to Matt and his family. Of course. So as we said, everyone knows someone who has been touched by cancer, and you can't imagine the anguish that Matt and his family have gone through th during this whole ordeal. No, and you know, my understanding is that he, the cancer, the tumor was shrinking, and then uh -huh. he had a recurrence back in, in February, and uh, you know, but this is a man who, as Keith uh, told me, he is his own man, and I knew Matt, and, and he That's is a, his yeah. own man and makes his own decisions, and, and this is something I have no doubt. He sought plenty of guidance and did so with his family. Well, again, we wish Matt and his family the best. Absolutely. All right, Monica, thank you. Sure.